Yo, it's V here. What's up, y'all? So, I heard that the Lord of the Rings is getting a game. And I hear in this game that you can play as Gollum. The precious. The precious. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. That's so niche to me for Gollum to get his own game. I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan for not, you know, many people don't know that. So, you know, this shit got me geeking out, man. Um, let's dive right in. Hi, I'm Harold Riegler, producer at The Delic Entertainment, and today I'm happy to reveal some exciting details about our upcoming game, The Lord of the Rings, Gollum. Oh. Oh. Gollum has always fascinated us. While being completely essential to the story written by J.R.R. Tolkien, Gollum's long chase for his precious ring has never been told in detail. Yet his incredible journey from Mordor through Mirkwood to the Mines of Moria takes players to places they haven't seen like this before, while setting the stage for events that will ultimately decide the fate of all of Middle Gollum has pretty much traveled everywhere. He's also pretty much met everyone, and by looking at events from his angle, players will experience Middle-earth through the eyes and twisted mind of one mm. of the most iconic characters. Of this looks like an odd world in our type of game. Style. It's giving me that from vibe. From his time in the slave pits of the Dark Tower to his stay with the elves of Mirkwood, Gollum will creep, oh. sneak, and trick his way past faithful, detailed environments. Seems like a platformer. So kind of digging it so far. Such the Lord of the Rings Gollum is a cinematic stealth action adventure. It mixes stealth and hardcore gameplay and really leverages the Dalek's expertise in crafting engaging oh. stories. Gollum is no traditional hero. He's learned not to take any sides other than his own, and some of the most powerful beings in Middle-earth want him either captive or dead. In the game, you will meet some iconic characters, but also interesting personalities less known to players, but nonetheless essential to the events unfolding. We've been highly faithful to the descriptions in the books, depicting, for instance, the Moth of Sauron, the Lieutenant of Barad-dûr, who is constantly scheming on behalf of his dark oh. In the game, you will see his face for the first time, but also Thranduil, King of the Elves, Mercury, wow. and last but not least, Gandalf. I think he referenced the first Lord of the Rings. Uh, um, is his name Sauron? Sauron? Like, he was the guy who wore all black armor. They saying you can actually see his face. Okay. Yeah, this is something that's caught my eye. Like, I've always, like, back in the day when Lord of the Rings was a thing, like, I remember I used to tell my friends, yo. If it wasn't for Golem, Frodo would have never got the ring. But, you know, Frodo died by, I mean, not Frodo, um, Golem died by Frodo's hands. So, look, I am just excited that they're continuing the Lord of the Rings franchise because it hasn't gotten that much love. I remember when Shadow War 2 what, is it called Shadow of War or Shadow of Mordor? Shadow, yeah, it's Shadow of Mordor. I remember when that game came out, like, the first one, I think the main character protagonist was Talon. He was voiced by Troy Baker. It didn't really hit me. I felt like that game was just something to make and just, you know, drop. It did have an interesting system where you can make, um, you can be enemies with certain characters that live through the battles that you fight. Like, I think it's called the Nemesis system. But um, this is totally a different take. Like, you're playing as Golem of all characters, a uh, really key character. Let us know what you think. Are you excited for the new Golem game coming out? Uh, let us know in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, and tune in to EH, yo. But da See you soon.